Good afternoon. I am so happy y'all. It is like 77 degrees outside. I really just want to go lay out at the beach today if I'm being really honest, but I'm not going to because I have a lot of work to do and I want to film some things for y'all. I want to go to Walmart because everyone has been talking about these little bunnies that are there and they look so cute and I want to get a few things to kind of spruce up our house for like an Easter spring decorate. I'm not going to go like all out crazy decorating, but I do want to add a few little spring and Easter touches. So we're going to do that. Hopefully get some decorating done. Um, I need a new hairbrush. I haven't had coffee yet this morning. I actually planned on starting this video earlier this morning, but I had to finish editing really fast. So I kind of get coffee. I'm going to Brown Fox because it's beautiful. And I'm sure we'll get into all kinds of other things. I'll probably just film for a couple of days and then just make this one big video. But let's go get some coffee and then head to Walmart. Walmart haul but y'all I went down the one aisle they had the cutest things but that was it all the other aisles just had like Easter baskets or like candy but not like Easter slash spring decor so the one that I went to was like sold out anywho long story short I'm gonna go to a different Walmart probably tomorrow but let me show you what I did get because I still feel like I found some cute things. I needed my hairbrush, so I got a new hairbrush. Oh, finally. New color. It's been like a whole entire like week and I haven't had a hairbrush. Do you know that I've been like stealing yours? Yes. <laughs> you know what's funny? What? That brush matches your shirt. Oh, fun. It kind of does. I feel like this is like one of my favorite things that I found in there. They have all of these Easter eggs. I love the like green gingham. That color green is my fave. They have the orange stripe. And then just kind of like the, um, how do you say this? Not wicker, not rattan. Uh, basket weave style. That was good, Bungie, <laughs> sure, yes. Anyway, they're so cute. I'm gonna put them probably in a bowl, but they had lots of other like colors and textures and all kinds of stuff, but those were so fun, so I had to get them. And like, y'all have asked why I don't decorate for all of the seasons in this house. And truthfully, it is just because this house is a lot smaller, so we have less space to like store everything. So I try to have less clutter in this house. So I still like putting out a few things, but not just like going crazy with it. Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, you're probably like happy about that. <laughs> yeah. Now this is so stinking cute. I got the reversible doormat. What's it say? Hop on in. Hop on in. So pretty. I love the color of this. And in the back is like this beautiful teal and it has like the, um, is it rainbows? Yeah, I don't know. They're just like use. Yeah. So pretty. So I got that. And then for my beach bag, I got one of these. I love having them in my beach totes because they're like water resistant. And this one's cool because it has your center pouch, but then also has an extra pouch here and an extra pouch here. So you can kind of like... Compartmentalize. Separate thing. Compartmentalize. Yes. Yeah. That was a good word, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I got these sandals because they were $8 and they're like the Teeks knockoff and Teeks are like $55 and they're literally identical. So I got those. Hold, hold those up for us again. Okay. Let's okay. just have a little. Yes. Now, these sandals, y'all, I already showed them on Instagram and someone messaged me and said, if there was ever a pair of sandals that was like you in a sandal, it would be these. And I was like, you're right. <laughs> Let's see what I think here. Okay. Y'all, they're so fun. I had to get them. 
Look at these slides. Wow. Aren't they so cool? Those, I think, do represent you well. Right? <laughs> they are so fun, y'all. They were $14.98. I love the colors in them. I, I tried them on. They're so comfy. They do look very comfortable. Like with jean shorts or like capris. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Those are going to church on Easter Sunday. White jeans would be so cute. Like y'all, they're absolutely precious. So I had to get them. So anywho, that's my little Walmart haul. But I'm going to go to another Walmart tomorrow. Probably hit up Target and see what their like Easter spring dollar section looks like. Mm-hmm. We, we still got more things to find so we can decorate. Good morning. Ignore the way that I look because I have not gotten ready yet today, but Bunky and I are up early. Just like whenever we went to get the camper the other day, we are up super early this morning because we are going to the condo today. I'm actually going back to Carolina Pines. I don't know if I told you guys that we met the sweetest couple there who I feel like you're just going to be lifelong friends and we had just like this instant connection and we just love them so much. Well, anyway, they um are starting an rv channel they are rvers full time i'll have to leave their channel down below for you guys but i'm going to them today we're having like a crash course in youtube so i'm so excited and i think we're going to go to dinner like on main street in north myrtle so we're going to have a super fun funky day but listen <laughs> i feel like the last time that i like picked up the camera to talk about um spring decor was like last week I went back to Walmart and Target yesterday and Kirkland's and I did not find any spring or Easter decor. I feel like maybe I'm just late to the game this year. I don't know. So anyway, because we're in North Myrtle and the condo is right beside Home Goods and Hobby Lobby, I am going to try to run in there today, grab a few more things, and then we are going to get to decorating. Y'all, I'm over here like cracking up because who knows how this video is going to turn out. I have been filming it for like days on end, constantly searching for a spring and Easter decor and I can't find like what I'm looking for and then I'll film a little bit here, film a little bit there. So anyway, I hope that <laughs> this video is enjoyable, but you know how I told y'all we went to see our friends at Carolina Pines. We had so much fun. I ended up staying there all day long and then um so i didn't have time to go to like home goods and hobby lobby and then bunky and i went to dinner and then after dinner it was like 8 30 and i'm like bunky before we head back to merle's can we just go to home goods for like five minutes i'm like you and daisy can stay in the car i'll do one lap really fast i just need to see like what easter decor they have and so he was like yeah we can go by there he's so sweet he always like anything I ever ask. He's just the sweetest person in the whole entire world. But anyway, so I run into Home Goods and I found two things that I love. And I'm like, okay, I think I have enough now that I can actually decorate. So I'm gonna show you what I got at Home Goods. The first thing that I got is this bunny and I just love it so much. The little detail on the ears, I just think is so cute. And y'all know from like years past, I have all of these like little bunnies as well that match it but they're a lot smaller like you can see the difference in size so this one's like a lot bigger more of kind of a statement piece and these are always like my favorite thing to use whenever i'm decorating for easter and spring so when i saw this one i was like oh my gosh i just have to have it and it'll be like perfect with my other ones kind of a theme going so i got that and then y'all oh my goodness is this not the cutest guy you have ever seen? Ever. Like, I literally just fell in love with him. He's so, so cute. I just love his little glasses and his little bow tie and the outfit. And y'all know, like, I love this color blue. We have a lot of it in our house. So I was like, okay, yes. He's also totally coming home with us. So those are the two things that I got at Home Goods. Okay, second thing. Have y'all ever been to Kava? If you have, you have to tell me down below, like what do you order there? I'm mouse watering just thinking about it. I've only been one time to the one in Charlotte. If you don't know what Kava is, it's like a restaurant. It's like, um, same concept as like Chipotle, but more, I think you would call it like Mediterranean food. It is amazing. I've craved it every single day since I got it and that's been months. I am like hoping that they're going to open one in Myrtle Beach. 
literally my mouth is watering so anyway i told monkey i'm just gonna create my own kava bowl and so we're gonna have that for like dinner tonight i literally cannot wait so we're gonna cook it all together so my little shelves over here you guys know is like one of my very favorite things to decorate and i just think it's so fun for like each season to kind of change it up so i went ahead and cleared off some things and kind of like took away so i have more space to add bunnies and easter things and then i did find um this care i think i got this at michael's maybe two years ago and i just stuck it in here like with this greenery and i was like oh it kind of looks really cute there y'all tell me if you would leave it there or if i should change it Okay, so if y'all have ever seen like any of my decorating videos, you know that sometimes I just have to like turn the camera off and work on it myself and then show y'all. That's basically all the time because I'm just not good at like on the moment decorating. I gotta play around, you know? So anyway, I wasn't liking anything in that tray. And then I remembered that I had this like greenery, um, not wreath. How do I say it? I guess you would say it's kind of like a garland of greenery and the color of the green is just like so springy. And I was like, wait, that looks like grass. And I have the bunny and I was like, oh, I could like make this look way cuter than like what I already had. So let me show you what I did. So I laid that greenery down in there and I actually kept this little book in here just to kind of give me a little bit of height to put my bunny and my candle on. And then I know I showed you guys these. I had gotten them at Walmart. The other two were going to put somewhere else. Um, but I was like, oh, I kind of like the orange with the orange. And then I just think that like the buffalo plaid with the orange buffalo plaid, so pretty together. So anyway, I put my little Easter egg in here, bunny, candle for ambiance, and then this cute little guy. And I just think it is so adorable. And then if y'all remember, I actually had this sitting up on this shelf and I just put it over here and I kind of love it. And it has those little sticks that I showed y'all that I got from Amazon. Let me turn them on. So at nighttime, this is like the perfect little ambiance over here and I didn't want to take that away. So I just put it here on my little um, stool and I still think it looks so cute and gives off that like little bit of sparkle and twinkly lights at nighttime. Now over here on our kitchen island, if y'all remember, I think I shared this, that I got this little tray from Home Goods. Um, probably like a month or two months ago and I love it. It's beautiful, the colors in there. And so I knew that this only needed like one more thing. I put our um, snake plant on here, my little candle, and then my sister had made me this for Christmas with like these long matches. I think it's so pretty. So all this space needs is my little Easter guy. And then I feel like it is perfect. That's what you're doing, Bunky. Oh, I'm attempting to assemble our, it was my Christmas present. From your it's parents. like a, a propane heater thing of sorts. It's gonna be so cool, like honestly. There's a, there's a picture Yeah, of it. this was such a good gift, like so thoughtful. Bunky's parents got us this, it's gonna be so cool. And. Don't look behind me. Don't look in the garage. I just feel like it's like the perfect time to have it because it's like spring, still a little chilly. 
Mm -hmm. You want a little heater, but mm -hmm. nice enough to sell outside. Oh, and you know what else, too? What? As I was unboxing it. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> it has a cover. Like, there's a cover that goes oh, on. Oh, cool. Okay, good. All right. I was, yeah. I've been concerned about it um, being protected from the elements. Uh huh. But it came with. It's going to be protected. So, you got all your things out here. Yep. <clears throat> I can't you know, wait. I might have bit off more than I could chew Why? in such a short amount of time. There's only so much daylight left. We, we gotta go cook this kava. Oh yeah. I might not should have started this. I'll cook it without you. Your garage looks like ours. I'm so glad that we are the same because it's like the project of our lifetime is to have like a nice organized garage. It will happen eventually one day. But anyway, um, okay, I'm gonna start on making the tzatziki sauce because I want that to kind of marry together and have as much flavor as possible. Then we're gonna make the garlic sauce. So if you've never been to Kava, I'm telling you, I literally can't even say the word without my mouth watering. Okay, they have this garlic sauce that they will like drizzle on top for you and it is amazing, okay? So I looked up all of these recipes. We need the food processor. It's only a few ingredients. It seems very simple. So we're gonna try and recreate it. And then tzatziki is just really good like Greek yogurt with um, cucumber. We're gonna like grate the cucumber in there and some dill, I'm pretty sure. Maybe there's one more ingredient. I'll look it up. But let's make those two things first. Oh, and also, I put the chicken in marinade earlier today. I'll show you right here on the screen what I used to marinate it. But I did the balsamic and the honey mustard because, and I don't know if that's gonna be a weird combo or not, but they also have this like balsamic fig dressing that you can get there too. So I kind of just tried to like marry all the flavors together. So anyway, the chicken's been marinating all day. Here's what we're gonna put in it. I don't know if theirs has all of this, but the recipe I looked up sounded really good. So the yogurt, a little bit of garlic, like one clove. Um, grate the cucumber, dill, a little squeeze of lemon, and then a pinch of salt. They drizzled like some olive oil in theirs. I don't know if I'll do that, but also a key step in making the tzatziki that I'm learning is that once you grate this cucumber, we have to like wring out all the water or else like, because this is so watery, it'll make the sauce separate. So I'm gonna grate this first and get all the water wring out. And I'm just gonna use my cheese grater. So we will see together how this works, but it should. Y'all, are you seeing this? Are you see, let me get you closer. I can't, are, are you seeing this? <gasps> Dude, that is so cool. I am shook. Wow, that is so cool. No way. No way. It just left all the skin off, which is like perfect. Yo, I, I am shook. <laughs> I cannot get over this. Like totally mesmerized. I'm like, what other vegetable is in my fridge that I can get out and put in this grater? <gasps> this is so, this is so cool. It's the little things. It's the little things in life that make you happy. <laughs> They are not kidding when they say cucumbers are full of water. Okay, I got as much water as I could out of those cucumbers. Now I'm gonna add in my Greek yogurt. And y'all know I'm not measuring this. I'm just <laughs> making some sauce from my heart. Whatever looks good. We don't need too much because it's just me and B, but hopefully we will have leftovers so I can have this again tomorrow. I'm gonna add in a good amount of dill because I love the taste and the flavor of dill. And then, Oh, I smell that. A pinch of salt. Now, I'm gonna put the juice of this lemon in here, but do y'all ever watch um, Cooking with Shireen? She's on like TikTok and Instagram. She's very popular. I love watching her make recipes. She always says, if you're gonna juice it, zest it. So like, if you're gonna put the juice in there, might as well add a little zest to give it some more flavor. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the same thing. So a little bit of my lemon zest. I'm using like not quite half of my lemon, just like maybe a quarter of it. The juice of that. We'll go give Bunky a taste test after we make this 
and see what he thinks of our concoction here. And then I have like a massive clip of garlic, but y'all know we love garlic, so the more the better. And I'm just gonna grate this in too. Okay, and that's our tzatziki. So let's give Bunky taste test and see if he feels like we need to add or I was gonna say take away because you can't really take away. But we'll see if he thinks we need to add anything. Look at you coming along. <laughs> it's coming along. Oh, I don't know what this even does. Will you taste test our tzatziki? Mm, it's quite tangy. It's tangy? <laughs> Too much lemon juice? Uh uh. What's that? Is that sour cream? Uh, Greek yogurt. Oh, okay. No, it's good. It's good? It's got a little garlicky punch to it. Yeah, there's some garlic in there. Now, I'm also going to make some pickled red onions for bunkies. So, I need to go ahead and get them pickling <laughs> so they can have as much time as possible to get some of that flavor in there. Bunky always makes fun of me at how I cut an onion because I guess I really don't know how to because I don't eat onions. <laughs> so, I just do my own thing. I basically cut it like an apple and leave the core. <laughs> That's exactly what I do. Okay, I finally got these all cut up into like tiny strips. So to these, I'm gonna add just a splash of water. I might actually need more water than that, we'll see. But then I'm also gonna add in some white vinegar. I only have a little bit left in here, so I'm just gonna dump it all. And then I'm gonna do a pinch of salt. I was gonna say a pinch of sugar. <laughs> it's probably more than a pinch. Uh, just dump it all in. Okay, I'm gonna give these a stir, pop a lid, put them in the fridge, and let them sit until we are ready. Okay, so now we're gonna make our garlic sauce, and I have my tiny little food processor. I think my mom got us this a couple of years ago. We need to use it more often. Um, I feel like making the kava bowls, there's like a lot of prep work involved, but it's like, if I make enough of this, make enough tzatziki, make enough, you know, all the things that you already have it in the fridge. And then this is just like a great prep thing to have for like lunches and dinners because they're so good and you can eat it so many ways and kind of add like whatever toppings you want. But anyway, I'm going to make this. The recipe that I'm reading says drizzling in the oil and the lemon juice to make this garlic sauce takes like almost 20 minutes because you have to add it in so slowly. And I'm like 20 minutes. I got 20 minutes to stand here at this end. I'm gonna try and do it very, very slow, like it's saying, because I think the end result will be so good. To my food processor, I have about like a small little head of garlic, so I'm gonna add all of that in. And then we'll do, let's see how much salt this says. Okay, the recipe I'm going off of says one teaspoon of salt. I'm totally just gonna, you know, eyeball it because that's what I do. Okay, and we're just gonna blend this until it becomes a paste, and then we'll start adding in our um, olive oil and lemon juice. And y'all tell me, that's not really a paste, that's just like chopped garlic. <laughs> oh, okay, I can see a little bit of it being a paste. Okay, I'm just gonna call this a paste, and then it says to add in the oil like two drops at a time. Okay, but he just walked back in, so he has no idea what I'm about to ask him. But basically, when I, w I was reading this recipe for this garlic sauce, I just assumed that it would be made with olive oil. And it says that it's actually made with vegetable oil. And I try to avoid vegetable oil like as much as I can while I'm cooking at home, you know, because it's just not great for you. Mm -hmm. So, then I'll do another, another recipe, and it also says vegetable oil. Okay. So I don't want to make it with vegetable oil. So, no. do, so do we either make it with olive oil, or we do avocado, because it's flavorless. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's really going to make a difference. I think any oil's pretty much going to... Avocado is flavorless, and kind of like, you know, the healthy alternative to vegetable oil. Yeah. Or, I saw another recipe that's just like a garlic sauce that's like, um, Greek yogurt, a little bit of mayonnaise, the garlic, some like spices and herbs. So you tell me which way you want to eat it. I say we go avocado oil. Okay, let's do it. It's neat. There's like a little uh, spill-proof pork there. Exactly. There's like a tiny little hole in there. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on and then literally like drop by drop add in our avocado oil. Oh. 
the blades are up high. I know. We gotta like scrape this down. You think? Well, why are the blades up so high? Well, I don't know. We're having technical difficulties over here. <laughs> Okay, so my camera battery died, but y'all, we ended up making it work. So I just like kept adding oil and then lemon juice. And at the very end, I drizzled in a little bit of like ice water. And it is the perfect consistency now. It's truly a sauce. I'm so excited. You want to taste it? Oh my, I don't think so. <laughs> Are you not going to eat it? No, I will, but like, I don't want to, um... <clears throat> Bunny said we're going to be reeking. Oh my goodness. We're not going to be able to go out in public for like three days. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Okay, we got to get the rice cooking. And then while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cook our chicken in the air fryer. What about the potatoes? We're going to do those last. We're just going to bring this pot of water to a boil. And then we're just going to do um, some brown rice. And this is one that we have. So this is what we're going to use. And then we're going to cook our chicken and our potatoes in the air fryer. This is going in, if y'all remember, our the best air fryer chicken is just at 400 degrees. Oh. 400 for 12 minutes. Comes out perfect. This garlic sauce is so good. Like, we taste tested. Wow. I guess because, you know, obviously, like, being in the food processor like that, it incorporated so much air and then all the oil, like, Yes. Emulsified into it. And it has like a lemony, salty, yeah, garlicky taste, but it's like actually balanced pretty well. And it's very light. Like it, it's, it's crazy how it transforms. It is. Okay, chicken is done. Oh, wow. That was Perfect good timing. timing. Oh, it looks so good. Oh yeah. Um, rice has two minutes left. And then over here, I just cut up our sweet potato. I did a little drizzle of oil, some of the blend, so salt, pepper, and garlic, and then a little bit of smoked paprika. Oh, we need to add this to the grocery list. Yeah, we do. And then that's it. We'll just toss these in the air fryer, let these cook, and everything will be pretty much ready. But we're not done because there's more toppings like tomatoes, feta, avocado. All right. Now, I've never done this before, but I'm going to attempt to fan the avocado. Oh, okay. Are, are we ready? We're ready. Well. Okay, this was pretty, Bunky. You, you know, it did a little something. Let's get that little wedge out. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. That's beautiful. Let me just show y'all this spread, okay? So we have our rice cooked over here. The pickled onions, garlic sauce, tzatziki. I for almost forgot our olives. So we have our Kalamata olives tomatoes. They are tri-color tomatoes. We have our feta that's going to go on top. The chicken. Y'all, this marinade, tell them. Did that chicken is the next Italian dressing honey mustard. It's the next one. This is 2.0. It is. It is 2.0 delicious, possibly even better. Y'all, this marinade that I put on here, I will put it in the description box. Oh, delicious. No. Potatoes have four minutes left. We are literally on pins and needles. I mean, y'all, this is like beautiful. It's gonna be so good. It's healthy. It's, like it's, healthy. Go it's gonna be good for us, right? Y'all are all shocked. They're like, wait, they're not making a recipe with tons of butter and cheese? <laughs> so we have we have feta, a healthier cheese, and then uh, that's Greek yogurt and the tzatziki, right? Yeah, the garlic has the oil, but we'll just do, you know, I light garlic. Oil. Yeah. Good oil. That's right. Oh my gosh. A showering. A showering of olives. A showering of olives. Oh, a, feta, oh, feta. A dumping of feta. This might be the prettiest dinner I think we've ever had. Funky. It is time for a fork. <laughs> it is time for a fork because that is looking really, really good. And I do want to say, Bunky has never been to Kava. So he has nothing to like compare this to. Mm -mm. But I wish you did. But trust me, you're going to love it. I have a feeling this is going to be better. Oh, okay, Bunky. We got a little chicken, feta, garlic, sauce, onion right here. Oh my goodness. 
It's so good. Comes the tzatziki sweet potato rice bite. Bomb. Right? The sweet potato. I told you, you were kind of looking at me like I was crazy, but I'm telling you when I go there, that is what makes my bowl, is the sweet potato. It, it gives you that little. I know. Wow. You gotta have a sweet potato with that, it. That plays off of each other. This is crazy. I know. This is crazy good. All this stuff together too. And you know what? I feel good about it. Yeah. This is wild. <laughs> Okay, ranking for you. Like, is, is it up there one of your favorite meals? Oh, for sure. Like, I would I would say, I would probably put this in, like, of, of all the things that I like to eat, I would put this in the top 10 of all the things I like to eat. Okay, bonky. Okay, listen. I think it was better than kava. I think it was actually better. And, like, it's so much more rewarding because, you know, we made it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely delicious, so scrumptious, the garlic sauce. I cannot even begin to tell you how amazing it is. You know what I was thinking about that? What? I think that that would actually be really good if you did it with roasted garlic. Oh my goodness. It would be, what, it would be so much more mild and it would already have, you know, all, all that oil. That is genius, Bunky. It was amazing, but the garlic is so intense. Like, Bunky and I are breathing fiery garlic. Like, you can smell our breath from, like, half of a football field away. Yeah. I mean, the neighbors might start complaining. They're going to complain. Like, it is insane, but, like, in the best way possible. Okay, chicken, so good. Please try that marinade. You're going to love it. Sweet potatoes, always amazing in the air fryer, 400 for 12 minutes, perfection. And then um, the pickled onion, Bunky loved, mm -hmm. everything. Like it was just wonderful. I hope you guys made this, yeah. you're gonna love it. But anywho, we are full Bunkies. We're about to go put on our jammies, hang out on the couch, cuddle with Daisy May. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and decorating and shopping and cooking and all the things. I hope you had so much fun because I did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, give some thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all. Monkey and I can't stop giggling. <laughs> this is so silly. We cannot stop giggling. <laughs> 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 we can't stop giggling because we feel like other things might stink too. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so funny to me? I don't know, Bucky. You cannot put that we in can. there. We might. <laughs>